that's nostalgic. Ah, that takes me back. this where? The Sari you set up shop? Yep. I'm sure it's hard to swallow, seeing your clan's former headquarters like this. I guess it must have gone vacant after the Great Dissolution. Now here they are, the new owners. Ijincho's just not big enough for them anymore. That's how fast the Seiryu clan's growing. It's like they're quietly taking over. Hearing about it's one thing, but seeing it in person's another. Hear you, son? Unbelievable. The symbol of the Tojo clan falling into the hands of outsiders. To think I'd live to see the day. Let's go. Standing around won't get us any closer to the boys in charge. Hear you, son. Maybe hang back for now. You get caught here, it's all over. The well, same for Sunny, I suppose. Guess it's up to me to sort this out. Hey, uh, good day to you. My name's Nanpa. I heard Sawashiro-san might be around. Can I help you with something? Oh, well, uh, you see, Sawashiro-san and I go way back. Uh, he actually paid for my trip to Hawaii the other day, so, uh, I thought I'd swing by and say thanks. Nobody told me he was taking any appointments. Now kindly get gone. Ah, oh, don't be like that. What's wrong with popping in and saying hello? Besides, uh, there's something important we need to ask him. Look, I can't let you through. And I already told you why. Oh, come on. Then how about you set me up a meeting with Ebina-san? You know, your captain? Why, me and him were having a chat just the other day. All you gotta do is tell him Nanba's here. What part of no don't you understand? You're trying to get yourself killed, pal? I'm Narasaki, lieutenant of the Seiryu clan. Seems here there was a slight misunderstanding. Allow me to set things straight. Finally, someone who can talk some sense. I have instructions from Captain Ebina. You're all to be welcomed as our guests. He also said there's no need to ask your name. Really, Narasaki-san? You're gonna take him in? They say the newbies don't know jack shit. But I didn't think it was this bad. How could anyone not recognize you? I'd like to personally apologize for this dimwit. I want to talk to Sawashiro. Where is he? You'll see him soon enough. But first, please come in. A 
allow me the pleasure of welcoming you. It's truly an honor. I am Sawashiro of the Seiryu clan. Didn't expect you to roll out the red carpet. My apologies if we caught you off guard. However, we felt it was necessary. After all, with the Tojo clan and the Omi alliance now gone, it falls on us to become the banner for Yakuza all over the country. Such a task requires the utmost prestige. It's perhaps the only way to bring them all together. <laughs> right. So line up the troops and have them stare down your guests. That's your idea of prestige. Hmm. You'll have to forgive us. Well, there's little use in standing around out here. Captain Ebina is waiting for you inside. If you follow Narasaki, he'll lead you straight to him. I don't need a guide. Is that right? So your mind's still intact, huh? Glad to hear at least that's still worth a damn. I'm sorry, what? Do you know who you're talking to? Hey, take it easy, Sachan. We can keep this up if you really want to. But fair warning. If you're just testing your luck, pick another day. I don't have time for games. You've got to be kidding me. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. Ha ha. Right. Excuse me. <laughs> we gonna fight some more? Mm. It's you. Okay. Well now, maybe I should have led you here after all. I was starting to think you got lost. Shut your mouth. If I needed you around, I'd have said so. <laughs> the Tojo clan's fourth chairman. <laughs> I can only assume you don't care much for what we've done with the place. However, you should know this building was all but left to rot. We took it upon ourselves to restore it. I take it you're Ebina? I am. And I presume you're familiar with Sawashiro-san? Yeah. Although, I've never seen him with the same pin twice. <laughs> you're supposed to be behind bars. But I see that's not the case. I'm flattered you've heard of me. It's quite an honor, Kiryu-san. Go on, take a seat. <laughs> Curious, son. I can only hope you're willing to talk. But maybe you ought to find a different chair first. What? Excuse you? <laughs> that chair belongs to the head of the Tojo clan, and no one else. Take my word for it. A lot of blood's been spilled over just the chance to sit where you are now. Maybe you don't mean any offense, but you're not even close to earning that spot. And I'll be damned if I play along. Bastard! You better watch your fucking words! It's all right, Narasaki. <sighs> Captain. 
This was to be expected. In fact, I'd want nothing less from a man of his stature. Let's try this again. Please, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> now then, shall we get started, Kiryu-san? I see the Seiryu clan's grown quite big. With all the Yakuza left behind, it's no surprise. And your goal is to help them along? Yes. As I'm sure you're aware, the civilian world is far from forgiving to our kind. Okay, but what about all those people who were able to make it, yet you pulled them right back in? Sunhee here has plenty of data to back that up. Perhaps that data's oversimplified. There's rarely, if ever, a smooth transition back to society. What a Yakuza needs more than anything is structure, stability, and the means to make a living. So for them to join our clan is a temporary measure on that road to rehabilitation. Want to know what else I hear? That you're moving operations to Hawaii. You have keen ears. Queen of the Komi Jewel, indeed. At any rate, you could say we're blessed to have a business partner there. Business partner? Not sure if you would know, Kiryu-san. Our biggest source of income right now is storing waste that can't be disposed of. However, I can't take any credit for that idea. Someone else had thought it up, and they'd been doing it in Hawaii long before I met them. That would be Pale Kana, a local religious group. What? Pale Kana? They're also the ones who helped Akane-san escape to Hawaii 40 years ago. I take it you've already heard of them. You could say that. If I can step back a moment. I needed Sawashiro's reputation in order to set the second great dissolution into motion. And while he was still behind bars, he confided in me one of his deepest regrets. That was, of course, about Akane-san. As such, the more I learned, the more interest I developed in the group that brought her to safety. And as I dug deeper, I learned about their waste management business. There's a special island Palakana owns where they run a facility quite similar to ours. You must mean Nele Island. Is that where Palakana stores its garbage? That's right. And when I reached out to them, they were extremely generous with their knowledge. They understood our objective as cleansing the sins of society, <laughs> and even offered to take in former Yakuza on our behalf. So you're saying all the fresh new faces in the Seiryu clan are getting sent to Nele Island? Correct. Everything that's happening in our Yokohama warehouse is simply a precursor to that. Right now, our joint venture with Palakana is our top priority. But I thought Nele Island was sacred to them. I hear only a select few of their followers are allowed to set foot there. Yet, you plan to dump your Yakuza on their shores? I see you've done your homework. But yes, we've already worked out the details together. Besides, all our men will be doing is transporting the cargo by sea and unloading it off the boat. As it were, they'd hardly be leaving footprints in the sand. A far cry from desecrating their holy land, wouldn't you say? Polykana understands this as well. Never guessed religion and the underworld would ever go hand in hand. Aside from that, why'd you send Kasuga over to Hawaii? I sent Ichi to Hawaii for one thing. To reunite with Akane-san, who said she wanted to meet him. So whatever becomes of it, it's got nothing to do with the Seryu clan. Sawashiro, are you aware of what's happening to Akane-san right now? What do you mean? She's being hunted down by gangsters, all on Polykana's orders. But their real target is the girl she has with her. And if they're caught, they won't make it out alive. Impossible. Is that true, what you just said? I take it neither of you knew? I can assure you we did our due diligence in researching them. 
After all, they're integral to the Second Great Dissolution. So you're saying we're making this up? I'm saying flinging words at each other would be pointless. Do you have any proof you can show us? Well... That said, this is coming from none other than Kiryu-san. We don't mean to make light of that. How about you give us some time? We'll look into Polycana once again. What would you do if Polycana turns out just like what I told you? I'd rather not make any speculations at the moment. As the Tojo Clan fourth chairman, I'm sure you, of all people, understand the weight of a Yakuza's words. I see. And if that's your stance, I think we're done here. Thank you for the visit, and for the valuable information. Perhaps when things settle down, we can treat you to dinner. Yeah, let's hope that's possible. Well, we sure show their asses. Can't believe you got Sawashiro acting on his best behavior. Seriously? And even though we were deep in Yakuza territory, I didn't feel scared one bit. I don't know. Doesn't feel like we got much out of it. No? But didn't we at least learn that the Seiryu clan's connected to Palekana? <sighs> right. But we're still left to wonder whether Abina really knows what Bryce is up to. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. I suppose. By the way, you think up anything else for the bucket list? You didn't forget about it, did you? No, I remember. And you know what? Maybe it's because I haven't been to HQ in a while. But I just thought of something important. Oh, what is it? Well... It might not be the fun activity you were thinking, but I want to pay my respects to some people who were close to me. You know, I think that's terrific. Mind if we come along? <laughs> I'd be grateful if you did. Might get a little gloomy without some company. I'm happy to hear you think of us that way. We'll do everything we can to support you, Kiryu-san. I know you will. Thanks. Then let's go. I trust you know the way? Yeah, let's catch a taxi. Yes, well done. You're all doing an excellent job carrying out Shurei Pipi. Can you feel yourself accumulating even more Kulipas? Just hang in there for a little longer. Now, do you understand? This is true Shurei Pipi. Then, with hearts full of naught but gratitude, let us all utter a prayer of thanks. Heptonost.
To those of you watching at home, I am Moonon Suzuki, and I once took the world by storm. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to tell your friends and family about me. Yes? Did you need something? Apologies, but I'm currently in the middle of recording. Fine then. I won't beat around the bush. Are you the Moonan Suzuki? Oh, you know who I am. Oh well, that pleases me greatly. But yes, indeed. I am the one and only Moonan Suzuki himself. Would you care to join us in practicing Shurei Pipi? What's your angle here? Are you trying to spread the teachings of Munan Shoheb Donast again? Pardon me, but might I ask who you are? Were you a victim of the Order's scheme, or...? No, not exactly. Well, if you're here to make a mockery of me, then please excuse me. As I've said earlier, we are in the middle of recording. So you're finding folks online to convert. I heard you were done with that sort of thing. <laughs> Seems you know quite a bit about me. But I'm afraid you have the wrong idea. This isn't about proselytizing. Really now? You say that, but what you're doing here looks pretty suspect to me. I can't stand back and watch if more people are being conned into joining a cult. Well, I'm used to people calling me a sham. I certainly don't blame you for not looking the other way. But rest assured, I no longer pose the same threat you assume I do. Hey, Moonon! What's the holdup? Teach us more about Shure Pipi. Moonon! Over here! Am I getting more kulipas? <laughs> Shure Pipi! Shure Pipi! See those people? They are merely looky-loos who came to observe a viral internet sensation and not true believers of Moonan Chohept Onast. They have only gathered here today because they find me a funny man, not because they worship me as a guru. And what's the point of these videos? Well, you see. Oh, found it. The batshit guru of the bullshit religion. What, you think you'll trend? Hmm? No, oh, what now? <laughs> I thought they put you in the slammer for fraud. Shit, man, don't tell me you're brainwashing little kids now. You guys don't have a damn clue, do you? Not a single damn clue about how many lives this phony ruined in the past. Oh, um, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, I'm just gonna get going now. Hey, you know these guys? I don't, no. But I get harassed by people like them fairly often. Anyone and everyone can watch my videos after all. They must be aware of my past transgressions and as such, in their minds, they are the ones exacting justice. The Order of Moon on Shoheptonast, was it? The hell are you thinking spreading videos of this shit? Your anger is not misplaced. But please understand, this is how I intend to atone for my sins. So, good sirs, would you kindly leave me be? I assure you I shall neither disturb the public nor stir up unrest. If you didn't want to kick up trouble, then shitty influencers like you shouldn't even exist in the first place! you want to atone, do you? And how about you go kill yourself? Go jump in front of a train. <laughs> yeah, the ocean's close too. At least you make yourself useful and feed the fishes. You're saying you usually have to deal with this? Then why upload these videos? You're only attracting more attention. Hey, stay out of this, pal. We ain't through with him, not yet. So hurry up and get lost already. You see, 
The point of my videos is to explain the methods that I myself have once employed as the leader of a cult. And I hope that by uploading them online, they'd be of aid to someone. What do you mean? The Shure PP practice just now is an example of exerting pressure. When faced with a group performing the same action, an individual will feel forced to conform. Shure PP takes away an individual's ability to think for themselves, and how well they perform is reflected as points we call Kulipas. By doing so, we can rank the devotees and tell them that the only way to accumulate more kulipas is by offering rinchos. In other words, paying titherance, tithes, that's how a cult rakes in large sums of donations. If I can spread the word about these practices, then new and emerging cults won't be able to prey on innocent people. Some viewers have even commented on my videos, saying they helped them see through a scam. Bullshit! You're just an ex-convict bragging about your crimes for the views. You think we'd let that slide? I make practically nothing from my videos, and what meager amount I do earn, I donate to a support group for the victims. There is no end to my atonement. I see. So that's what you've been doing. Seriously, old man? Talk about gullible. This guy's a con. No doubt he's making this shit up as he goes, dumbass. He's a threat to society. It's only right we make an example out of him. I trust Munan Suzuki's word. Excuse me for being gullible. Damn it! Let go of me, asshole! Return this man's tripod and apologize. If you want to rave about justice, then at least keep your own manners in check. Cult Guru strikes again. Took no time at all for him to brainwash another sucker. I don't get how people flock to you. You sick fucks give me the creeps! Show me what you got. Together, we only need one Naturally. shot. Bring it on! You're gonna be in a world of hurt. I'm proud of you! Oh, 
good. I don't know about this. Wanna play, do we? Check this out! Pull it together, gentlemen! This is the worst. <laughs> Have fun with this. Don't mind me. Cheers! Cheers! I feel so heavy. Something wrong? You're gonna get stomped. In for the kill! There's no way to fight. Wanna play, do we? What do I do? Watch this! This will be tough. You're weak. Try to block this! You asked for it. <laughs> no begging for mercy now. You want some? Something wrong? Have fun with this. Ugh, use it for you. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Follow my lead. Let's make this quick. What an now then. You're going to regret this.
<laughs> Doing better than I thought. Yes! <laughs> Excuse me, but would you happen to be Kiryu-san? We first met in Onomichi, correct? Where we dismantled the cult together, you and I. You've changed quite a bit since then. I apologize for not recognizing you right away. Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. My name's not Kiryu. What? It's not? That's... A little strange. What is? When I said I was atoning for my past sins, you believed me even though you had no reason to. You could have told me I was just all talk, considering the fact that I did time for fraud. But if you were Kiryu-san, then it makes sense why you'd trust my word. When you helped me bring down the cult in Hiroshima, you gave me the push I needed to walk the straight and narrow. I've only gotten this far thanks to you. Do you happen to remember, Kiryu-san? What you said before we went our separate ways? Again, I'm sorry, Munan Suzuki-san. You've got the wrong guy. I should go now. Wait, please, Kiryu-san! It is you, isn't it? For us to have met here of all places, it must have been divine intervention. How do I appear to you now? Do you believe I truly am atoning for my sins? If there really is a divine being out there, I'm sure he'd be lenient on a guy who faces his sins head on. So it really is you, Kiryu-san. That's the exact same thing you said the last time we parted ways. Sorry, Munan Suzuki. This is all I can do for you right now. Good luck. Let's give this a try. <laughs> I could make this work. <laughs> Pretty good. First impressions are key. Bring it on. It's my 
my turn. I got scared of nothing! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Ha. laughs> Here we go. Hey, here's the problem. <laughs> right. Let's do it. Yeah. Allow me to hear you. Here we go. My turn. Back in the okay. win. Did you really think you'd win? Moving up in the world. Whew. We should relish yes. this moment. Okay. Psycho, mind if I ask you something? Oh. Uh, really? <laughs> sure. Go right ahead. Is something bothering you, Sunny? Do I have a ramen lover's face? Uh, ramen lover? I've noticed lately whenever I go to the salon, whoever's there hands me guidebooks for local ramen spots. Um... You know, when they give you something to read while you wait? The other girls get fashion magazines, but me, ramen. Hmm. When you first met me, Psycho, did you think this woman must be crazy for ramen? No, honestly, I, I just thought your sunglasses were kind of obnoxious. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, oh, um, <laughs> is it? I've just been feeling really self-conscious about this lately. Are you sure it's not a coincidence? Am I just paranoid, you think? I don't know. I should go back to this. on. See if it happens again. I'll report back to you. Um, yeah. Good idea. Is that really a good enough reason to book a salon appointment? Don't get in there. Okay, in there. Bring it on. Let's do it. Here we go. You're the Get serious. Right. What? It's my turn. Did you really think you'd win? <laughs> Light as a feather. In this season. What's the verdict? <laughs> I could make this work.
Bring it on. It's my turn. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Wanna play, do we? Oh yeah. Try this on the side. Give it your all, everyone. <sighs> this on all my sense. Want some? Let's do it. Okay. Allow me. Come on. Right here. It's my turn. Yeah. And that you ended. picked the wrong opponent. That's nostalgic. Like eye drops from two stories up. That'd be from about here, right? Come on, that's just a way of saying something's not gonna happen. Hmm, with no wind, I think it could be done. Here, you son, seriously? How high up is the second floor? Three meters or so? Doesn't that sound doable? You seem confident in your eyedrop catching skills, curious son. Put me to the test. Nanba, how's your eyedrop accuracy? Huh? We're... we're doing this? So, kiryu -san just stands on the ground floor with his eyes open? Damn it, Nanba, how'd you end up with the fun part? Psycho, we could beat them at this. Go downstairs and hold your eyelids apart. Please, no. Sunhi, what happened with that small fire? The one where the Liu Mang set fire to Komijol turf. Oh, thanks for your concern, but I'd rather talk about literally anything else. There's some dissent within Ijin Cho, just something I have to deal with as a leader. Just nothing you should be worried about. No can do. You shouldn't have to shoulder that burden all by yourself. Why don't you lay it on me? You mentioned before there aren't many people who can drink with you as equals. I did say that, but... Ugh, screw it. There really is no winning with you. Honestly, I didn't want to air out our dirty laundry in front of you. Hmm, so it was arson. But nobody saw who did it. Right. All we know right now is that the culprit was fully aware they were setting fire to Comey Jewel Turf. Don't you find that a little strange? Well, how so? If I remember correctly, your subordinate didn't hesitate to tell you that the Liu Mang was behind it. But how could they call them out without an eyewitness account? So you've noticed. Impressive. Ah, uh, long story short, the accusations against the Liu Mang are false. There's no evidence pointing to the perp, so it's all bullshit. 
But someone managed to escalate that BS to me without having to go through any filters. That's the real problem. What do you mean? I'm saying the lie originated within Comi Jewel, among the top brass at that. In other words, one of the Comi Jewel officers tried to deceive you with a false report. Precisely. He probably made his underlings start the fire, then spread the rumor that the Liumang was behind it. This act of betrayal only serves to escalate tension between Coma Jewel and the Liumang. I can't turn a blind eye to it. You're right. One wrong move and it'll lead to an all-out war between the two of them. Truth is, some people aren't too happy to see Comi Jewel and the Liumang getting along. By deepening the division and sowing discord, they'll be able to pin the blame on me for failing to take action. That's the traitor's end goal. He wants to chase me out and seize my throne to rule Comi Jewel himself. You managed to dig all that up? Then did you find out who the traitor is? I did, actually. He got sloppy when leaking the rumor. Turns out the traitor is the eldest of Comi Jewel's officers. His name is Han Chulsa. So, that's him there, huh? One of my great and wise uncles I've talked about before. Hm. At his age, he should be thinking about retirement. Guess he wanted to make a name for himself before going out. By betraying you, no less. If he's the oldest, then the two of you must go way back. You should talk it out first and try to reach a peaceful compromise. If there's conflict between officers, things could get out of hand. Unfortunately, I can't have them thinking I'm some pushover. I appreciate the advice, but now's not the time for talking. Ugh, this is such a mess. I really didn't want you to see me like this. I can't believe I just spilled everything to you. Was Han Chul Sa dissatisfied about something? I doubt he'd plan a coup for no reason. I can't think of anything. Except for the fact that I'm younger than him, and a woman. Considering he's a man who's faced countless adversities in battle, perhaps he doesn't want to end up under a leader like me. Most old men probably would think so. I've received the same report from different sources stating that Han Chul Sa is secretly rallying people to rebel. Saying crap like Sun He is capable for a woman, sure, but weak-willed, and other people are more suited to lead. So, he's been working the rumor mill. I can find out anything and everything that happens in Ijincho. Han Chul Sa won't be able to keep up with the information warfare. But people look up to him as a legend of the past. My generation grew up listening to stories of his heroics. He once fought to the death with the Tojo clan back in its heyday. I never thought he would ever become my enemy. A man too full of pride is a man stuck in time, unable to move on. Nothing more than a relic of the past. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that old man's far too reckless for his own good. Oh, but... He's older than you, Kiryu-san. Much older. You're not even in the same age group. You don't have to force yourself to say that. More importantly, what do you plan to do about him? As the head, it's up to you to decide how to deal with traitors. See, this is exactly why I didn't want to talk about this with you, Kiryu-san. Truth be told, I haven't made up my mind yet. The leader shouldn't let their emotions influence them. Betrayal must be punished, or else the organization will crumble. Of course, you make a good point, but I'd rather not get any more personnel involved. I've been making plans with that in mind. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Sharing your suspicions with someone else does help clear things up. Yeah, it certainly seems so. I'm sure you have other things to do, though. Your own problems are even more pressing than mine. 
I don't want to cause you any trouble, so... So? Can we just drink and talk about something stupid now? Sure. What better way is there to booze? <laughs> you really do get me. Always have. Hey there, Kiryu-san. Are you here for a drink? You, uh, sure that'll be okay? No need to worry about me. <laughs> oh, please. But, since you're already here, there just so happens to be a seat right now. Great. I'll take you up on that. So, Saiko, you're a mama over at a cabaret club? I'm not just a mama, I'm the owner of the whole joint. After the previous owner passed away, one thing led to another and I ended up taking over. The younger girls are usually the ones serving the customers, but sometimes I lend them a hand too. <laughs> Guess I should be paying you for this conversation then. Mm-hmm. Cough it up, mister. But I guess you did help us out before, Kiryu-san, so... <laughs> Let's just call it even. I won't be taking any money from you. Oh, whoops. I should be calling you Suzuki-san instead, right? 